beautiful day in this neighborhood, a beautiful day for a neighbor. Would you be mine? Could you oh, there's the late Fred Rogers. You know, he used to say that when he was a boy and saw scary things on the news, his mom would say, look for the helpers. You will always find people who are helping. So we followed Mrs. Rogers' advice and found a helper, and coincidentally, her last name is Rogers. Jacqui Rogers. And she's joining us right now. She's with a group called St. Louis Mutual Aid. Good morning, neighbor. Good morning, neighbor. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. So tell us, what, what is St. Louis Mutual Aid? So St. Louis Mutual Aid is a network of organizers, healers, artists, community leaders, and just everyday people that are coming together to deliver food and supplies and provide financial solidarity, um, offer emotional and healing support and connect people to their neighbor neighbors during um, what's become an unpredictable time for, a lot, for many of us. You're kind of like a politician, but you're not elected and you get things <laughs> done, you know. Is there, is there anything that you can't do in this group? Uh, being a part of it, uh, I'm starting to feel like, no, I feel like we can do anything that we put our minds to. Yeah. So what differs mutual aid, St. Louis mutual aid from, from other charities? Yeah. So, um, I think it's really important to distinguish that, um, mutual aid really stands on the foundation of financial solidarity, which differs, um, from charity and that charity tends to have qualifications to receive it. Um, sustaining the organization is a priority. However, financial solidarity is all about direct giving, recognizing that systems of oppression are in place, um, and, and working collaboratively and collectively, um, and positing that at any, any given moment, we all have a need, and at any given moment, we all have something that we can offer to one another. All right, for example, g give everybody an example of something that, that your group just did. Yeah, so, um, we have, let's see, we have a, a few different ways that we're, that we're organizing. We have um, neighborhood pods. And so when folks call the helpline that we have, they can get linked to folks in their geographic area who can help meet some of the immediate need. Um, we have quarantine support. So folks who need to stay quarantined at this time can get groceries and supplies delivered to them. Um, we have our financial solidarity network. So if folks want to give to a general fund to help have funds redistributed to people who have expressed a financial financial need, they can do so, or they can visit our website and give directly to folks. And so these are ongoing efforts that have been happening since the onset of COVID-19. Yeah. Um, we've recently la launched our healing supports initiative um, where we're offering, um, you know, healing supports to community members who need listening ears and community at this time as well. Yeah, I, the, yeah, I saw your logo and you've got a, a beehive. And I remember years ago, <laughs> this, this elderly woman was trapped in her house because a swarm of bees had formed a swarm right outside her front door. She couldn't get out. She was trapped. So oh my goodness. She, she called me for help. Now, today I'd tell her, call St. Louis Mutual Aid. <laughs> yes. You guys could hook her up. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. Well, it's a great organization. Continue to help everybody in the public. We appreciate that. And uh, if you've yeah. got talent and, and you want to donate that talent, I'm, I'm yes. assuming that this group is, is looking for you. Or if you want to get Absolutely. more information, we have a link on fox2now.com and also the Fox 2 mobile app. And Jacqui Rogers, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you for raising awareness about this effort. I appreciate you. You're, you're welcome. And it's a beautiful day. In our